It's your boy Suave the Wiz with the Mad Ad Podcast. Thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already, don't hesitate to like and subscribe. I got dope content I'm dropping daily. So check it out. I'm checking out Griselda's very own, Benny the Butcher. He has a new single. This came out about a week ago. It's called Deal or No Deal, produced by Derringer. Now, we all know how Griselda is and how I feel about Griselda and how they get down. Like, yo, Benny has a slick way with just destroying instrumentals and literally just talking about that fly cocaine rap innuendo stuff. And, yo, I'm here for it. So I'm definitely finna give it a thorough review, give it my ins and outs, my do's and don'ts, and break it down. All right, so lyrically, I mean, look. Benny the Butcher, when it comes to getting on a Derringer, Alchemist, or kind of any old school boom bap beat, I feel like he's found like the master key. And he just knows how to like just make his presence be known on the track and let alone actually tell a story and leave you with something. It's like for me, whenever I hear any Benny cut at all, it's just like, yo, this is exactly what I came for. I don't feel like even on the songs with his fellow, you know, label mates. Um, West Side Guns and Conway, he's never lacking. Everybody brings their own type of flair, type of flavor. But in regards to this song, Deal or No Deal, this was just a deal breaker for me. This was dope. The lyrics were just outlandish. You know what I'm saying? Benny always finds that cat's paw and just talks reckless. You know what I'm saying? Shout out fucking Derringer. Derringer definitely did what he had to do. This was no... You know, this was no hesitation. This was something that these guys just put out into the world. But I mean, lyrically, I'm gonna have to give this song a solid 10. Benny the Butcher definitely came to destroy, you know what I'm saying, did what he had to. This was a stellar, you know, performance, as usual by any Griselda member. These guys are definitely taking over. So I mean, production-wise, shout out Derringer and shout out motherfucking Benny's just keen ears. The way that Benny does his thing across these Derringer, Alchemist beats, I am just here for it. It gives you that nostalgia every time. I feel like I'm in a Honda dropping off, you know, them things. It's crazy to me. I really, I understand their messages and their methods of madness and how they do their thing on beats. And this is definitely a great production by Derringer. Psh outstanding i feel like i'm gonna have to give this a solid 10 i could not complain i couldn't take nothing away from it it was definitely a vibe so all right check it out delivery wise i'm feeling like when doesn't benny the butcher find time to deliver this is what he does from when i heard benny the butcher on rubber bands and weight you know this was like 2019 ish I was being hip to Griselda, but definitely Rubber Bands and Weight was something I was just completely sold. Like, yo, I love the Alchemist production down to how Benny just destroyed it. But I mean, yo, his delivery is just flawless across almost any beat, any bar line. This is what he does, man, you know what I'm saying? I feel like Benny has a very stellar delivery, you know what I'm saying? I really can't take much away from it. I can only add to it. It is just immense itself, you know what I'm saying? It's a great way... He has a great way to just doing what he does on beat, and I'm, I'm just here for it, man, you know? So delivery-wise, I'm feeling like deal or no deal. This is pretty tough. I'm going to have to give it a solid 10, 10 across the board. If I could have gave it a 50, I would have gave it a 100. You know what I'm saying? This was stellar. So, I mean, overall, Benny the Butcher, deal or no deal, produced by Derringer. I felt like this shit was the bomb. This right here is a dope cut off whatever Benny's looking to drop. I know he has a Soprano Gang album or something like that coming out, and I'm definitely checking for it. Like, yo, this was a vibe. Benny does not disappoint no time. Like, I feel like there's never been really a weak Benny track that I can say, oh, you know, damn, Benny, you could have went a little harder, you know, whatever. Nah, man, Benny definitely wears his heart on his sleeve when he walks into the studio and then leaves, you know what I'm saying, and does what he has to. And that's what it's all about, you know what I'm saying? Straight hip-hop, deliver. You feel me? So check it out. It's been the Mad Ad Podcast with your boy Suave the Wiz. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any songs or suggestions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I'm out of here.